I'm Nicole, I'm one of the giant panda keepers here, and I'm over here with Tian Tian, our adult male giant panda, over at the far enclosure next to the camera rooms. And I'll be out here to do some questions and answers um, if anybody has any. I don't have much of a voice today, so and I have to do another talk tomorrow, so um, I don't want to push it too much, but I certainly um, can answer questions for you. And then when you get into college, the best kinds of courses, again, are biology, although a lot of us studied animal behavior, and a lot of schools have that you know, as a major in school, sometimes it's under the psychology department. I went to school a long time ago and it was under the psychology department then. So um, just look at the courses based She's on what you want to do. Um, if you wanted to huh. be a keeper and work with animals every day, the psychology might be a good way to go. If you wanted to work around in the field, you might want to look at something like um, a conservation type of uh, conservation biology or something like that. But um, to get the hands-on experience, you can volunteer in the zoo if you live near a zoo, or you can even volunteer in uh, the vet hospital or um, an animal shelter, something just to get the hands-on experience with the animals. The, the basics are the same. You clean and feed and observe the animals, so you get that experience. And you get that in a number of different places. Uh, but for the most part, the keepers that you send can be any time between February and May to the females. They're fertile for a day or two during that time. And the males, um, he technically is in rut, although it's not very strong yet because Mei Shang is not, uh, not cycling yet uh, because of Bao Bao. But we're getting closer. We are seeing some rut behaviors. He's kind of patrolling the yards. If he was in the wild, uh, because you have to be ready at all times if you're a male panda for those, you know, couple of days that each female is fertile, um, it's to your advantage to be in rut for a much longer period of time. So we start seeing the behaviors with him as early as October or November some years. Uh, he's a little bit subdued right now, but we are still seeing the, the patrolling. Uh, a lot of the scent marking, that's the way they communicate to each other, um, their presence and their reproductive state. So um, I'm just going to you much now. Uh, Mayshawn typically, um, her estrus typically engage, and so that'll give her a couple years to get settled into the center that she ultimately moves to. Um, she's got to get used to her surroundings before she's involved in breeding. But um, females tend to be sexually mature a little bit sooner, and that's you know, true of all the species. It's actually really coarse. It's a little bit oily too. 